Today we're going to talk about better erections, but we'll approach it from an unusual angle. It's not the obvious route, but if you think about it, the logic becomes clear. Here's the idea. If you care for your teeth and mouth, you automatically care for your penis. So without realizing it, the erection maker is right in front of you every morning, every night. In this video, I'll give you five simple strategies for stronger erections. The funny thing, they are all about gums and teeth. None of them involves the penis. Or do they? Think of it like playing pool. We are banking the shot. We play the mouth and land in the pelvis. And science is our cue. So chalk it and let's get started. I'm Dr. Stefan Buntrock, board certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. Strategy one, brush your teeth twice a day. It's not just about cavities. It's about saving your erections. Brushing reduces plaque and tartar and lowers the risk of periodontitis. And that's where the trouble starts. Periodontitis. Sounds harmless? It isn't. It starts with bleeding gums and ends with tooth loss. In Germany, 95% of young adults already show signs of it. One bacterium plays a key role, Porphyromonas gingivalis, or PG for short. It causes chronic, low-grade inflammation in the body, which messes up nitric oxide. I will tell you more about it in a moment. But before we move on, let's make sure you're not just brushing, but brushing right. Most people don't. They scrub back and forth like they're cleaning a grill. But dentists recommend a gentle, circular motion holding the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle to the gum line. Each area should be brushed for a few seconds before moving on. And it takes at least two full minutes to get the job done. In reality, most people fall short, both in time and in technique. Did you know that there is a magic move for even better results? Hardly anybody thinks of it. If you watch this video until the end, I will reveal it. And speaking of the end, watching all the way through is the biggest compliment you can give. It tells YouTube it matters. So if you want to support my work, watch until the end, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. It's free and it makes all the difference. Thank you. Strategy two is flossing once a day. It's the same mission. Reduce PG as much as possible. Here's the problem. Your toothbrush can't reach the spaces between your teeth. But floss can. Think of your gums as a tight seal around each tooth. Bacteria, especially PG, sneak into that seal and start building plaque. Now, plaque is soft, easy to remove. But if you leave it there, it turns into tartar. And tartar is like concrete. No toothbrush in the world can break that down. Only your dentist can. Tartar is a problem because it drives a wedge between your gums and your teeth. It's like opening a door for PG. It's an invitation PG always accepts. It's a toxic germ. Once it gets into the bloodstream, low-grade chronic inflammation of the whole body is the result. It settles everywhere. It gets into your heart. Today we have robust scientific data to show a connection between arterial fibrillation, a certain kind of heart disease, and PG. PG has even been found in the brains of patients with Alzheimer's. And the penis? We'll get to that in a second when we discuss strategy number three. It's interdental brushes. Ever seen these? Tiny brushes with soft bristles, perfect for reaching what floss sometimes misses. They are the ideal add-on for even better cleaning between the teeth. They help fight plaque, stop tartar, and reduce PG. Once PG enters the body, the immune system fights back. The result? Chronic low-grade inflammation. And now, your erections are in danger. When the body is inflamed, nitric oxide production goes down. I talk a lot about this molecule in my videos because it matters. Erections depend on it. No nitric oxide, no erection. A healthy body makes plenty of NO. An inflamed body doesn't. We play the mouth and land in the pelvis. That's exactly what's happening here. If you're in for a surprise, strategy number four might just be the one for you. It's a supplement, a lozenge containing Lactobacillus ruderi. Never heard of it? 
Most people haven't, but it might be a game changer. Lactobacillus ruderi is a probiotic bacterium that helps reduce PG and other harmful bacteria in the mouth. It lowers the risk of tooth decay and periodontitis. And here's where it gets interesting. In a German Navy study, 72 crew members aboard the frigate Brandenburg were given L. ruderi lozenges for 42 days. Why? Long missions, no access to dental care. The result? Bleeding gums dropped by 75%. Plaque and gingivitis significantly decreased. Science shows that L. ruderi reduces PG in both saliva and subgingival areas. It's not magic, it's microbiology. So if your dental hygiene is already solid, this might be the missing piece, an extra microbial seal. One caveat, these lozenges only work if taken continuously. Stop and the effect is gone. Before I reveal my bonus secret, let's quickly move to strategy number five. It's professional dental cleaning. Even if you're obsessed with brushing and a master of dental care, some things can only be done by a pro. There will always be a bit of tartar and every mouth needs a regular checkup. No way around it. So professional cleaning once or twice a year and dental checks at least annually. That's the perfect strategy for your oral health. And don't forget, for your penile health as well. The better you protect your mouth, the less inflamed your body becomes and the better your erections will be. But how do you become an oral ninja? Here's a strategy that's widely practiced in Asia, but often overlooked in the West. Brushing your tongue and using a tongue scraper. The tongue is a playground for bacteria, good and bad. Just look at it after eating blueberries or two cups of tea or coffee. Cleaning your tongue is a simple but powerful upgrade to your oral hygiene routine. So there you have it, the perfect five-point plan for better erections. All starting in your mouth, all working the pool way. And next time you're in the bathroom and your toothbrush catches your eye, maybe say a quiet thank you. If you'd like to dive deeper into oral health, I've linked another video for you here. Take care, because there's a lot you can do to improve your own health. Starting with a brush and ending, well, you know where.